What's up, Dilly T2K? Coming to you another remake, and by a viewer request, we're going to remake Michael Jackson's "I Can't Let Her Get Away," which is another Michael Jackson record produced by Teddy Riley. And uh, you know, I got to give credit where credit is due. That some of these sounds are taken from Michael Jackson records as well, um, just to try and make a slight attempt at authenticity with the remake. And uh, before I get started, gotta let you guys know I got chord samples on sale. Uh, off of my website if you're looking for chord samples and also uh, I'm doing a GoFundMe to raise money for a machine studio actually not a machine but a machine studio and that will kind of help me expedite uh, doing more products stuff like that I just want to be able to do tutorials with the latest equipment because probably I'm the last one with one of these so let's get started so we got some different sounds here so I'll share them with you So we got a brass construction sample. That's a James Brown sample right there. Get up off of that thing. So let's go ahead and try to put it together real quick. We're going to make some sounds together. So we're going to add some more sounds like I just said. So let's add some more. Here we go. guitar that I picked up from the Cork M1 VST plugin and you know it's just a real simple riff at least that's what I heard in the song so we're gonna add that in a sample that was in the song uh, I can't quite source it but it seemed to kind of be mixed and kind of had that minor minor seven sound so we're just going to add that in there for to kind of help to kind of help fill it out a little bit so we're going to let you hear this all the way put together and then we're going to try and see if we can put the chords to the verse so this is the the groove and by the way, this is in the key of D, D minor. And make sure my keyboard is not transposed, and it's not. So let's go ahead and play the bass line to the the verse of it. features that are in machine 2.4.56 to kind of help us extend the first four bars and then let it carry out for the rest of the verse because there is kind of a four bar loop where it's just the music grooving so I'm going to try and put that in real quick now let's select a piano and string patch from the Cork M1 VST plugin I like that it kind of has more of a 90s ish sound so I like to kind of use those for something like this that was produced in that era even though my sound could be wrong but again this is an approximation and not an exact duplicate. So. So I got an F, F 
major minor, actually an F major 7. We're going to go to the B flat major. Then a D major. Actually a D minor. This will be a major. And those are the basic chords right there. Um, I don't know the proper name for this one right here, but it is in the song. I use my ears a lot. So let's go ahead and so let me stop boring you with the, the chords and let's go ahead and see if we can put something together with that. So you gotta love how the shortcuts get changed in the machine every time they do an update. right there guys if you have any other requests or anything like that uh, I definitely read the comments pretty regularly on my work day so please feel free to leave your comments and suggestions as well and also leave a thumbs up on the video and like the video uh, that helps me out because I hear all the youtubers saying it helps them out so maybe it'll help me out as well thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys next time I'm Dilio and you're watching Dilio T2K